Scarcella's Italian restaurant on Market Street in Youngstown will celebrate 60 years in business this September. I say that it has grown just as our families have grown. We'll tell you what's kept them going and on the menu. On the Menu is sponsored by the Timber Lanes Complex. Here at Scarcella's Italian Restaurant, executive chef Sean Kushma prepares one of their most popular menu items, a pepper and egg sandwich. Now when you're doing a pepper and egg sandwich, you want to make sure you know, your, your pan is hot. If the pan's not hot, your eggs are going to be flat. So we want to make sure that they're nice and fluffy. Okay. Let me just flip it once, flip it over one time. Flip it over again. And that's only one of the items that brings customers in. A lot of the recipes were my from my great grandmother, Mary Grace Carcello. The sauce, the meatballs, the cavatelli, and others, it's my mother's. We have our own herbs that we do use for that. Can't tell you what they are, obviously. There was my mother's recipe and my daughter's the owner. She told Connie. Don't give the recipe to nobody. <laughs> I think our lasagna is excellent. The, all of the homemade pastas, you know, they, they fly out of here faster than we can make them. Oh, their pasta and their sauce is just perfect. It's, it's got a little, you know, old time flavor to it. Today I had the pasta fagioli. It's all homemade food. Uh, a lot of it we do make from scratch. We roll our own cavatelles. We make our own homemade noodles. Today I just had eggplant. Uh, parmigiano. I had today. I had a dish of um, uh, marinara ma uh, spaghetti. Tiramisu is always good to end our meal. I'm gonna put a little seasoned salt on that. Poached fish with a half order of the homemade spaghetti. On Friday, I usually get the the Italian fish poached with the spaghetti. When you take it out of the oven, it's cooked perfectly. It's not too overdone. It's nice and moist. You can see the moisture in there. Um, and then we're going to put that on a bed of risotto. Put the bacon, a little, put that lemon butter right on top of it. Teresa Kushma has been with the restaurant since it opened back in 1957. This is the picture when we went to Italy. My mother wrote the date, 1934. I was born in Youngstown, August 13, 1931. We lived in Italy 12 years, and we came back after the war, 1946. The history starts in 1957 when my grandparents decided to have a restaurant. They started out very small. It was on the corner of Market and Pyatt Street. Teresa's daughter, Concetta Kushma, took over the business in 1982. I've been with the restaurant. I grew up in it and it just feels like I've been home and not much time has lapsed. My children have been an extreme asset to the business. Dale and Sean Kushma now run the business's daily operations. 96 we started pretty much running everything and to see it grow to where it is now in the last 21 years, it's like it's, it seems like it's only been about two or three years. And now Scarcellas is looking to expand their reach through franchising. This year, my brother and I finished with the uh, all the paperwork that you need to do for that. We had a lot of uh, regular customers over the year that, that would bring their families in, and some of them had moved out. And when they would come back, they'd say, hey, you need to open a place in Atlanta or you need to open a place in wherever they've moved to. Probably start out locally to begin with just to kind of get our foot in the door and, and work all the kinks out and then eventually who knows where we could expand to. This year on September 3rd, the restaurant will celebrate their 60 year anniversary. It's unbelievable. It's uh, it doesn't seem like it's been that long. I remember 30. Yeah. <laughs> I was 12 when we did the 30th anniversary. It's a big accomplishment and uh, you know it just goes back to all the family tradition and, and being brought up in it and, and pretty much a lifestyle. I think it's fantastic. I, I'm hoping that it uh, they, they're here at least another 60 years. You don't have too many places that can say they've been around that long. Wonderful, always held to traditions. They've continued to have perfect food, perfect uh, place to come. And they have uh, many uh, longtime customers or they would not be in business that long. And while the food brings the customers in, a constant theme in this restaurant is family. All our customers, they enjoy eating here. It's a, it's a tradition here in Youngstown. Just the atmosphere is good. It's like a, 
like a habit that you're used to. Wonderful people. The person-to-person -person relationship in business is very important. You always have great company when you're here. And they treat us like we're family. I'm happy to be with my daughter, my grandsons, and my son, because they're all in the kitchen. You know, it's a family restaurant. Okay. And my mother wanted to be family restaurant.